Welcome back to Twilight Struggle with yours truly, Francie Pants. Going to play DP Borneo today. Played him a couple days ago. I think I won both times. I think we played twice and I won both times, but third time is a charm, as they say. Thanks again for tuning back in. I know the last game was a little bit rough. Hoping that today is less so. All right. Well, let's do the standard setup here. Looks like I am USSR again. Hopefully I do better than I did before. Let's see, we have decal, great. Red Scare Purge, I dare not play it. It's my only four op and he might have defectors. Duck and Cover, I, I do enjoy starting with Duck and Cover in uh, turn one, round one, because I can get a second coup from it if he doesn't coup after my first one. Get to coup twice, and the U.S. player doesn't get to coup at all. So that is if he doesn't coup right after me, so we'll see how it works out. Uh, Indo-Pakistani war. If, he, if I don't get Iran and he sneaks in, well, it's always a... Nice to have in the back pocket. All right, well, 442 is the setup. We're not going to mess around with uh, Italy, especially since they don't have socialist govs. So that means the headline is going to be. Ooh, I, I'm not playing Red Scare Purge, even if <laughs> even if it is tempting. Not playing Decal until the. Uh, Defcon gets lowered. I could just play Blockade. I mean, I know he's going to have something to get rid of, but maybe it'll be destalinization. So, eh, I don't see anything else that really strikes me as being awesome. So, good cards. Not a lot of good headline cards. So we'll we'll just go with that. Oh, hey, containment. <laughs> that's going to be. That's going to make this a fun turn one. Now, anything can be blockaded, basically, with containment. Still hope it's destall, but, you know, we'll see. I also played a little bit slowly in the last game which let me go all the way down to the wire. I know I lost by like 20, 21, something like that. But uh, I'll try to play a little bit quicker this game so I don't have that same problem. Uh, yeah, let's do Warsaw. Nice. Now, if he doesn't coup here, I can duck and cover and coup Panama. Otherwise, we'll just space duck and cover. No big loss. But with containment, maybe he'll feel like taking a stab at Iran. I don't know. Played him before. Let's see. Just twice. Eh, 2 0. Oh. All right. I'm not bragging because I know I'm not a great player. Again, I watched the first uh, round of the video I put up a few days ago and some plays I was critiquing just from that first uh, first early game turn. The goal here, as stated previously, is not to play too quickly, but to rationalize my thoughts out loud so that I can make I can make better decisions. It's taking a while here.
see if he's alive over there. Duck and cover. Coup Panama. And then get into decal so I can halt him in South Africa and have a a window into France as well as, of course, getting into Thailand. It is nice. Oh, he is cooing. Okay. It is nice when the uh, other player plays a little more slowly because then I, uh, <laughs> I get a chance to... Uh, Think more thoroughly about my about the possibilities. All right, let's see here. I don't want to make anything too appealing for the Reds. Let's yeah. Let's just do uh, yeah. Let's see if we can get Panama. Oh, and did I ever get Panama? Okay, well. Got the coups out of the way. Still looking pretty good in the Middle East. I went for South Korea last time. I loaded up with... Uh, U.S. Japan. Now that might have been a problem. I, I was thinking it probably wouldn't be at the time, but obviously it'd be better to take South Korea or put a little bit in South Korea without uh, actually giving him another battleground in the same region at the same time. Maybe I'll just do uh, go into Pakistan. Since I do have the Indo-Pakistani War, I can just... Uh, truck right through, of course, after we do decolonization. Mm -hmm. Sounds good, my man. Well, let's, uh, let's lay things out here. Um, how about Laos, Cambodia? I know, you're going to take Thailand, but at least I'll have I should put something in South Korea and then Pakistan. Yeah, I should use Red, I should use Red Scare Purge, probably. Because I don't like when, as the USSR, you don't put anything into South Korea, then all of a sudden they have Korean War, play it without any problems, without it being won by the by the Soviets, and then just filling it up. So, <clears throat> gotta make it a little more costly. I also could go into France. Ah, the dilemma. Really ought to space duck and cover two this turn because I don't want to get caught with both that and CIA next turn, even though I could, I could still space it. All right, well, my decision is easy. What are you going to do, my good friend? I think probably Thailand, but maybe he's deliberating at this very moment. France or Thailand, or split them two and two. Or three and one. <laughs> um, man, I could. Uh, 
I could shake things up. Go for France. You know, De Gaulle is still out there too, so even if he tries to mess around. Although I also got to be careful of Truman getting to uh, Ornery over there. Let's go with the original plan. I could end up with uh, De Gaulle in the future turn, so we'll do one, two, one, two. Ah, uh, yes, can play a special relationship for free, also. And let's see, he changes that right now. I don't feel like I ever get, uh, as the U.S., when I'm playing the U.S. player, the U.S. side, I ever get containment round one. But that's that's pretty nice. Pretty nice. All right. We'll do special relationship, and then get rid of duck and cover. Send it to space. think influence huh all right let's do Could also use into Pakistan to make sure I have uh, temporary domination of the Middle East. Using intervention, just for intervention. Uh, yeah, well, give him a dilemma, maybe. I know I didn't want to keep duck and cover, but some things just more important. So I currently have domination in both Middle East and Asia. I don't suspect he has either card. He probably could have dumped it already. But uh, he can only break me in one spot or take, you know, take Libya. I shouldn't say that. He has containment. He could do lots of things, but uh, I'll see. I hope it's a one-op card. Limit his possibilities. I can also use duck and cover. I know it's a costly VP. If there's something that he breaks that I want to repair at the cost of a coup. Oh, he's captured Nazi scientist. All right, kind of figured. But now I could also use Nasser to break that if he decides to. All right, containment's gone. Gone forever. All right. Almost 15 minutes later, we're on to round two. Hey, look, there's Nasser. Could, uh, no, I was going to say I could use Cambridge 5, but I want to make sure that uh, he loses the Middle East because he could score it immediately if he wanted to. Get rid of independent Reds. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll got to do Nasser. Let's do Nasser. Yeah. Well, I had a brief window to do something about that. However, I didn't. Now, I could use Duck and Cover. He's already up by five, though. I'd rather not. I can still space it. So, instead of using it, let's go ahead and coup. Should I coup with a higher card? See, there's, there's, these are the calculations I'm not used to making. I'm not necessarily good at making either. I feel like it's worth the risk. He does, oh, okay, yes, it was. <laughs> I 
Although it's going to be put to waste when uh, Sadat comes along. It's all good. So far, I cannot complain about my rolls. That is that is good. All right. Now, here here's the thing. Last game, as I mentioned before, I took Korea with U.S. Japan. I'm honestly thinking about doing it again. But this time, I have Pakistan already. I didn't have Pakistan last time. I also have a couple of uh, countries in Southeast Asia, which would limit his um, ability to just snatch snatch them up. So, I could do that. I'm ahead right now, though. Let's see what he does here. If he doesn't do anything, I might just take South Korea. The question is, if I'm spacing duck and cover, I might I either have to hold on to US Japan or play that outright. I think with these cards, I could uh, get a firm grasp of Asia. And also duck and cover before he gets on the board there. He's already got five. But based on how the board looks right now, aside from Europe, um, not all that disappointed. to mention that uh, time is also ticking away. He did, this player did tell me last time he's struggled for him to play quickly, so I uh, huh, I understand that. All right, well, I'm going to play NATO first because I, actually, let's make the country count here. Four, he has five. Yeah, let's play NATO first. Okay, one, two, three. Oh. I miscounted. I forgot. Well, it'd still be two point swing for me. Let's just go to Zaire in case he ends up with colonials later. Either way, right now, if he has it, I get two points. If he doesn't, he doesn't have a whole lot of a whole lot more places to expand to. Whereas I have, if I need it, Afghanistan and then Burma and uh, India. Should be all I need. Especially since uh, Vietnam's not been played. He's not going to go there. He's taking his time, so I assume that means he doesn't have Asia. Because he would dump it now before I get my pause on Burma and India. I have a strong feeling that this is not going to make it to uh, 10. He's got 30 minutes left. Ooh, well, I guess that's uh, good for him. Now he can go into South Korea before I overprotect 
not going to this turn, of course. I think it's time to get rid of Duck and Cover, but we'll see what he does. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Alas. Five and five. Yeah, if I use US Japan, I would have to take Burma and Afghanistan and let him have Japan. However, if I just do Cambridge 5, and Burma, forces him to take over Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam, or do something in Thai, Thai, uh, Taiwan. He does have four ops. Let's see what he goes for. Yeah, I was afraid that might happen. Okay, well, I don't see you getting. Control or domination of this region, but uh, touche. Touche, my good man. Yeah, I shouldn't play US Japan. That's just going to be too easy for him. And he has six and I have five. So, easy choice would just be to dump the China card, take Laos Cambodia back, overprotect, but then he has the China card, and we don't like that. Yeah, my other question here, Fidel, Fidel's valuable. I mean, I shouldn't hold on to it for sure. I should either play it for the event or play it for ops. Okay, he's overprotecting. Um, yeah, tricky, tricky. All right, well, I don't know if this is the right move or not, but let's go ahead and... One, two, overprotect, overprotect. If you thought you were going to get Asia, sir, you were wrong. All right, one more turn. It's going to be Fidel, and uh, I might just put it in Angola. North Korea, maybe? Because he'll have the China card, so. Unless he gets frisky and decides to do something into Burma right now, in which case I need to defend. Interesting. Okay. How about Ooh, it's another chance. He's giving me another chance at Europe. I'm still going to do what I said I was going to do. Maybe I'm being too timid. I don't know, but sometimes my greed gets the better of me. Lovely. That'll get scored again. Asia, however, Am I getting it? Am I getting it or is he? He's getting it. Okay. Okay. It's six and six. If he has it, he might try to dump it right away, in which case, D stall into Afghanistan would be a sneaky, sneaky first move. He also has. Or he doesn't have defectors because I have defectors, so. 
Yeah, you know, you know what? I'm not disappointed with that option. However, I have to make sure that I coup, and I have to coup Libya. It's my only option, but that also gets him out of the Middle East. So I think that's probably the best move. He did it. He fell for it. Gotcha. All right. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. I'm proud of myself for thinking of that. <laughs> Not to be arrogant or anything, but it's like, uh, I think maybe I could get Asia if he tries to be sneaky here. All right. Let's try to banish him forever from the Middle East. Man, I my coups have been extraordinary. Unbelievable. All right. Now, age has been scored, so if he doesn't do anything, I'm going to pour U.S. Japan into Europe. That is my course of action. You can hold me to it. France is mine, unless he does something about it right now. This player actually did ask if we could do 90 minutes sometime. Said that's a little long for me. But maybe the uh, being forced to think things through a little more slowly. Hey, he read my mind. That would be good for me too, but harder to record. I think 45 is still my, still my wheelhouse. Um, all right, well, forget about that then. All right. He's got Europe going for him, but not too much else currently. I feel like at some point in the very near future, he should put something into Mexico. Find a way of getting into Middle East. It should be easy if he gets Sadat right away, mid-war. Or, uh... Mm. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. And I don't see the card lists. Oh, man, the one that you get three free countries. As I mentioned in the last recording, I am not good with names of cards. I know what they do. I recognize them by the picture, but the name eludes me.
five-year plan. There we go, into Mexico, defending its turf. In Africa. All right, well, it's time to do some NORAD. I still want to get those two points first. And hey, I got them. Next job is overprotecting Angola. Realignment, huh? No, sir, not this time. So let's go ahead. It's nice that we won't be seeing defectors again anytime soon. Though I'm honestly much more afraid of mid-war cards that the U.S. has, of course, green sales. Voice of America. Hey, look, I'm naming them. Isn't that impressive? Aren't you proud of me? Nuclear subs. Colonials. There's some really good ones. Kennedy, of course. Although that Kennedy's not always played for uh, the event. Can be good for ops too. But uh, yeah, my opponent has a little bit of catching up to do here. Getting situated in Mexico would help. Of course, he's going to want to get himself into the Middle East right now. What's that worth? Nine. Oh man, you're giving me Fidel. At least he got his wish. I'm out of Algeria and into Cuba. You gonna realign me there too? I don't really want to give many coup targets just because uh, the military ops thing seems to be breaking him down little by little. Formosan, Formosan, um, no he'll probably play the China card so what do we want to do? Let's see if we can end the game with the South America scoring. South America or the Middle East for that matter. So generous, my good sir. Okay. Well. Probably just going to refill. He must have had a pretty awful hand.
All right. Let's finish our control. And see where that gets us. Nowhere for him to coup, so we'll get the two points for the military ops, bringing us to 10. And if we see South America or the Middle East, at least I just have to get one point on top of it. There's a few USSR cards that can do that for me. Don't ask me to tell you the names of them. What's it going to be, Borneo? Hmm. There's your space race. All right, well. Let's see what we get here. Ooh. Good ops. He could have a junta though, which is not ideal. Don't definitely don't need to play Brezhnev. I should probably play Cultural Revolution, honestly, because the chances of him being able to take China card back are lessened since I have Nixon. Just Usuri, and then he won't be able to uh, stamp all over my. Uh, territory in Southeast Asia if he uses a Surya to take the card back. So Defectors is gone, so I think this is the uh, best option. Yeah, why not? And coup in Algeria. Unless he green sails me or who does or something. Or CIA. Sorry, buddy, I have some decent cards. Not gonna lie. Zaire, Angola, what's it gonna be? Get crazy and go for Brazil. I don't see that happening. Yep, that's what I would have done. Seems like it would have worked, because it did. All right, well, he's in good shape in Africa. So, in that case, let's try to get control of Central America. By try, I mean get control. Actually, before that happens, maybe I should coup in Botswana first. Maybe I should. Make sure I keep a presence in Africa and take away his control. Domination, sorry. Conflating the two words. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, you know those awesome coups I had before? Not so much. I definitely expect a realignment here. Let's see if that's, ha if that's what happens.
Mm-hmm. Predictable. Oh, I would have gone for Cuba, man. Cuba. Okay. One, two, three. Get my presence in Africa. Normally, I would think to put um, influence in Nicaragua and Haiti, but I feel like that often offers inv invites coup attempts. Though, the other school of thought, it would take two coups to get me out of those spots, or one, and you try to do an even uh, realignment, but then I can refill it from the other spot. So. Maybe that's the smarter move. He does have coup targets now, so I don't think I'll uh, be building up any more military op points. In fact, I really wish he would space so I can one small step and snatch up those three points after. And then space again. Probably Nixon. Nah, I take it back. Probably nuclear subs. Because I'll probably play the China card and give him Nixon. Though right now... Asia scored. I could just take India. Oh, brush war. Oof. Always a scary proposition. Okay, he rolled a one. Sorry, man. Just not your game. Not your game, buddy. Um, okay. Really love to get somewhere in Africa. None of these cards are going to help me with that, unfortunately. Let's, eh, let's take one step closer. Could have also gone into West Germany and threatened France from that direction. Not much you can do about that with the DEFCON solo. And he just played How I Learned to Stop Worrying, so... He should be worried about France anyways. At some point, it's going to come up again. Europe, that is. Well, there's your control of Africa. Oh, no. Now it means I have to go take India. Though, I guess Southeast Asia is probably the more pressing threat. Maybe he's not going to space race this turn. I don't really want to get rid of the China card yet, but again, it's easier to play Nixon that way. He's hoping to get rid of nuclear subs after he space races. And after I one small step. Gotta do something about this Africa situation, that's for sure. I could play nuclear subs last turn also. He probably isn't gonna save any high ops cards to get into uh, Brazil or Argentina.
better that he's just able to play one coup with it than as many as he wants. Okay. Yeah. All right, so that's what we're going to do. Let's, uh, Space Race uh, Nixon. Great. And then if he doesn't Space Race, I'll Space Race Nuclear Subs and uh, then play one small step. Probably into uh, Algeria. Could also take Vietnam, because that's going to be worth points. Soon. Oh, right now. <laughs> yeah, good job, buddy. Okay. Let's take some points of my own. Let's take those three right back. Oh, sorry, it's only two. Nope. Didn't get it. All right, well, we'll take Vietnam with uh, one small step. Or... Algeria. Maybe Algeria is better. I mean, everything hangs on Vietnam, though. What's Africa worth right now? Ten. Oof. But if I do, he'll just repair it. Yeah. There's not much it's gonna do to to mess with Algeria. I. Oh man. For a second, I thought he was playing it. That'd been great. We'll just patch it up. Make sure I have Asia for the future. And overprotect. Okay. Now, I gotta do something about Africa before he gets it. Central America's worth four. Okay. I know there's a lot of variables in this game, but I'm just thinking if, like, high-level players calculate battlegrounds. I mean, usually you're probably fighting for them, and it's not quite so easy to snag them, but in this case, Saudi Arabia is so easy. That would give me 10 points for the Middle East, which would bring me to 16, and then Central America's 4. So, I mean, in this case... It's not that big of a deal because time's going to run out. I'm dominating the board outside of Africa. I mean, he's got Europe, I guess. But I, I have the, the point lead and I have uh, the other four regions that are you know, pretty solidly locked up. But in general, I mean, every point counts. And if you can end the game early, you should. I think I had 19 points in a game I played the other day, up to 19, and the other guy ended up winning. I needed that one more point, so things to consider. And Africa is not something to bat an eye at. If he can score it before I take uh, Battleground, that's pretty decent. You know, imagine that happens twice in a row. Maybe he gets Kennedy and gets rid of the Middle East and South America. You know, it's, anything could happen. Again, time is probably more the factor than of than those other things right now, but just thinking out loud, hypothesizing, pondering. There's a one point swing for me right there. <laughs> and he is messing with India. It's not what I would have uh, recommended, not what I would have done, with Asia being scored already, and it's only turn four. All right. South America, come on. There we are. And the Middle East. Okay, well, good game, sir. Good game. Uh, I think I can, yeah. Yeah, I think this is over in two turns. I'm not even going to worry about a coup. Well, I hope this wasn't particularly uh, dull, 
for anyone. I mean, both of us, both me and Borneo, are relatively low-level players, probably making lots of mistakes, but hopefully you can learn from our mistakes. You can play better. I can play better by going back and watching again. I shouldn't have let Africa get so far out of hand. I had a couple of chances at France and Europe. Timing, I just didn't uh, seize those moments, prioritized other things. But uh, yeah, I mean, oh man, okay. Well, it's been fun, sir. It's been fun. Again, thank you so much for joining. I am happy to have any feedback, strategic tips. I've been doing some reading on my own, but... Uh, Anything from the viewing audience would be greatly appreciated. Until next time, my friends.